you know, and I like to see truth and I like to listen to truth and I like to get truth out there. You know, I think people, uh, you know, as a society, we need to share the truth. Yeah. You know, we need to see the truth. We yeah. don't need the hidden agendas and the hidden, you know, the hidden, um, uh, you know, the, 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 uh, the stations of, 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 crap <laughs> i call them the stations of crap you know like they just they feed you what you need to hear you know that's not the real truth you know media can do that yeah. so us as as producers we can bring truth mm -hmm. things and enlighten people if you're going to get funding, you really need to have in today's society. Now you really need to have a very um, creative ways to get it done. Yeah. It's not, you know, if you're not, if you're in California, sure. It's easy to get funded. There's a lot of investors in California and you just go door knocking all day long, you know, but, but really um, I, it needs to be that you need to find more creative sources to get funding now because of the times, you know, with the banks shutting down, COVID, you know, people mm. are, investors are getting a lot more conservative. So we need to come up with better solutions, how to entice in investors. And one of them is my line of credit slash the bridge that we need through mm. investors yeah. um, that'll help you get the rest of it. You know, so instead of having MGs and bonding and all that stuff, I mean, you don't necessarily need it because our line of credit already has an insurance wrapper around it anyhow. Right. You Right. So there's all these kind of really cool things that you can come up with to to end up, you know, funding your films. Yeah. Well, and I think one of the things that and it is kind of part of this conversation we've we've had in the last few minutes, which is, uh, you know, because we're in this new um, place where people mm -hmm. are looking for something to invest in that they can count on. Um, mm -hmm. and uh, that uh, a lot of the systems, uh, studio-based systems, and, and not all of them, but a good chunk of many shows and films that are coming out right now are, um, are not necessarily doing a great job of representing um, uh, you know, what the audience wants to see. I, I think people are, there are more independent bubbles popping up where people can write stories that are based on a kind of uh, authenticity or or the truth is another way of looking at it. I mean, fiction is fiction, but it comes from a place of um, uh, honesty. If it's if it's mm -hmm. from the writer's experience and from what the writer's trying to say and tell. I, when I talk about fiction and, and truth, I, I don't mean that the story's true, obviously, but, but um, that you're just writing material that resonates when people see something that um is authentic to right. the imagination and the heart of the writer um then you know you tend to see people it's more likely that people are going to go that's a quality piece of work and mm -hmm. and um i think you know in order to secure an investment you want to find things that resonate as as for real you know authentically real good fiction it's not it's not politics wrapped in in a political kind of fictional message it's mm -hmm. it, it's um something that's coming from the heart of the the writer and and i think that can come from many directions but but people are realizing that they're putting their money into uh, a kind of a black hole if they're if they're putting themselves into these projects you know financially speaking where mm -hmm. they don't come from that honest position and and whatever well, that position is well, I, they, people also have to realize too, you know, investors don't want to get themselves caught in in a bunch of um, political problems or or maybe blackballed in certain areas, you know. Because I have I have a film right now that I really love, um, but it has to deal with certain things that are up in the world today that are that are being spoken about, and and it could be slightly political in a sense which I love. <laughs> I have no problem with it, putting my, you know, my name on it, but you know, sometimes you have to be very cautious how you present that and how you do it, you know, cause you don't need people knocking at your door and, you know, 
with a shotgun in your hand because you, you've opened up a can of worms that you know people don't want to hear. <laughs> you know that's what I, that's what I loved about you know uh, 9/11. You know with um, um, Michael. Um, oh, oh my Michael gosh, Moore. Michael yeah. Moore. Yeah. yeah. I mean, he, he, I love him for the reason, you know, he's, he's avant-garde, you know, he's, he's going to talk, he's going to, he's going to share that story, you know, yeah. the real story. And, um, and I love it. I mean, I've always been kind of a conspiracy theorist in a sense and, you know, and I like to see truth and I like to listen to truth and I like to get truth out there. You know, I think people, uh, you know, as a society, we need to share the truth. Yeah. You know, we need to see the truth. We don't need the hidden agendas and the hidden, you know, the hidden, um, uh, you know, the 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 uh, the stations of of, of crap. <laughs> I call them the stations of crap. You know, like they just they feed you what you need to hear. You know, that's not the real truth. You know, media can do that. Yeah. So us as as producers, we can bring truth. Mm -hmm things and enlighten people yeah you know? and it's not a good sign in any story when you can see the opening act and know exactly how it's going to you know go and end and and that's i think that's the problem with and you see that all over the place in the political silos that a lot of content mm -hmm. is moving in um yeah. there isn't a diver diversity so that you could kind of say oh you know i it's an interesting concept being floated here and maybe you completely disagree with it but you don't know exactly where it's going to go but that's yeah. not what's happening because there are a lot of times where you can just see right from the uh, opening scenes or the, the opening chapter you know mm -hmm. oh i know exactly what what kind of ballpark this lands in and, and then you can almost predict how it's going to end because yeah. it's not unique individual thoughts and ideas of, about the world and about fiction and about it's 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 a kind of siloed position that's driven by a very narrow uh mandate and and audiences a lot of times just have and more and more now are just rejecting that the, the money's not coming in from those things and and i i would think a lot of savvy investors are starting to go okay where are the really unique ideas you know where you can't really tell exactly where the political line is on this person's ideas because they're not trying to align themselves with them they're just telling their story from their point of view and and well you know the thing is too though sebastian is a lot of investors you know are are too conservative right you know they don't want to lose their money so they what they think they need also on their side is they need to open up their minds to the possibilities of modernization of what's happening right you know yeah. the typical i invest in a stock and i get x amount of percent back or I invest in a GIC and I'm expected 5% return. You know, it, this is the old school, you know, that you need more investors that, that want to take a bit of a risk. And all you have to do is just take that, you know, on the comparison of the 210, you know, the $10 million line of credit to $2 million, um, you know, deposit, that, that $2 million risk is not really a risk in a sense. I mean, it's low tolerance. Everything's a risk. You know, and it, when you're an investor, you you take a risk. That's it's a natural course of action.